Uh, hey guys, uh, thank you for tuning in to another uh, video review of mine. I'm starting things off on a little bit of a serious note. Uh, the, the ironic thing was I was actually getting ready to start working on this video today. And uh, I, I went on to Twitter and saw that TMZ is reporting, uh, and I'm, I'm looking right at the, their website, uh, TMZ is reporting that uh, wrestling legend Macho Man Randy Savage has passed away today. Um, uh, it says that he suffered a heart attack while driving behind the wheel around 9.25 a.m. today and lost control of his vehicle. Earlier this month, uh, Savage celebrated his one-year anniversary with his new wife, Lynn. Macho Man uh, Randy Savage was 58 years old. Uh, this, this especially hits hard for me um, because my father passed away of a heart attack and uh, it's very upsetting. My, Randy Savage was a wrestler that I grew up with and I absolutely loved and part of this review that you're gonna see here in a little bit uh, you, you can you can hear my excitement talking about the the, the character and the man himself um, uh, it's a, hold on <laughs> um, so it's 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 rough finding this out so um, yeah Macho Man began his wrestling career in the WWF in 1985 and became a superstar with his trademark catch catchphrase, Ooh, yeah! <laughs> That's the best I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, Savage was so popular, he became the spokesperson for Slim Jim and uh, in the mid-90s and became virtually synonymous with the brand. And anybody that grew up watching wrestling knows, Snap into a Slim Jim! Ooh, yeah! That's, again, another bad impression, but uh, I'm going to do that. Uh, the, uh, the latest update has uh, the Fla Florida Highway Patrol saying that Savage was driving his 2019 Wrangler when he veered into a concrete media uh, through oncoming traffic and collided head-on with a tree. Savage was transported to Largo Medical Center where he died from his injuries. Savage's wife was a passenger in the vehicle during the collision, but survived with minor injuries. She was transported to a different local hospital where she's being treated. Um, uh, one, one thing that they're also saying is that uh, Randy and Lynn were both wearing their seatbelts at the time of the accident and that alcohol was not a factor. Uh, thank God for that, because uh, that, that would have been terrible. Um, there's an investigation, and I just kind of want to go through. Several other superstars have said things. The Rock, who a lot of people are fans of, I've rambled on for three minutes now, uh, says, Rest in peace, Randy Macho Man Savage. You were one of my childhood inspirations and heroes. Uh, former WWE superstar Kevin Nash said, I lost a close friend today. If anybody in heaven is wondering who the cat in the ugly cowboy hats is, it's Randy. Love you, bro. And the immortal Hulk Hogan uh, just recently went on and said that he is completely devastated. After over 10 years of not talking with Randy, we finally started to talk and communicate. Uh, he had so much life in his eyes and in his spirit. I just pray that he's happy and in a better place. We miss him. We miss him a lot. I feel horrible about the 10 years of having no communication. This was a tough one. Uh, so just right before the review, I would I would ask you guys just to uh, have your thoughts with them. And I'm going to uh, just give them a brief moment of silence and uh, reflect on the life that was Macho Man Randy Savage. Welcome to another video review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the WWE defining moments. Macho Man, Randy Savage. Ooh yeah! 
Omega. From WrestleMania 7. Easily one of the best matches I ever saw as a kid. And I love the fact that they got these figures to replicate that look from various defining moments in these people's careers. Nice looking packaging here on the side. You got a nice picture of the Macho Man. One thing that is actually kind of interesting, during this time frame, he wasn't known as the Macho Man. He was referred to as the Macho King, Randy Savage. So it's a little bit weird that they refer to him as that, but he's always known as the Macho Man. I really like the nice classic looking wrestling pose here on the side. Flip it around here on the back. And it says, March 24th, 1991, the Macho King reunites with Miss Elizabeth after the career-ending match defeat. The Macho King Randy Savage showed fans his softer side at WrestleMania 7 when he reunited with his former manager, Miss Elizabeth, after losing a career-ending match to the Ultimate Warrior at the Los Angeles Sports Arena. Savage was carried to the ring with his manager, Sensational Queen Sherry, it doesn't say Queen, but she was known as the Sensational Queen Sherry, on a giant throne wearing one of his trademark outrageous outfits. Savage punished the warrior like no one has done before, landing his patented elbow drop from the top ropes five consecutive times. But the warrior would not be denied. After kicking free from Savage's pin attempt, he hit the Macho King with several massive spears before he secured the victory. After the match ended, an enraged Sherry sprinted into the ring to attack Savage. But Miss Elizabeth, who had been watching from ringside, who had been watching from a ringside seat, immediately rushed to Savage's side and chased off Sherry, reuniting the two and bringing the sellout crowd to its feet. In an emotionally charged moment, Savage held the ropes down for Elizabeth to exit after years of having her do it for him. One of the most amazing matches plain and simple that I had ever seen. And here it is, his outrageous ring attire that he wore on his way to that match. I am so happy to finally have this figure. Now all I gotta do is get the Ultimate Warrior from the exact same match. So let's get this guy open and see how cool he actually is. And here we have the Macho Man, Randy Savage, opened up and out of its packaging. And I gotta say that again, I absolutely love the look of this figure. It perfectly captures the look and the feel that he had at that historic WrestleMania entrance. The Macho Man, he just always is and always has been a larger than life character. And th this is the pose that I love. I mean, this, this is how Macho Man, when, when I think of Macho Man, this is how I think of him. Maybe a little bit more squatted down, but uh, with his little hand on his hip, pointing up at the sky, pointing to all of his uh, hardcore, hardcore fans. The madness is running wild with this guy. And as you can see, he comes with a stand. Now, I really do wish uh, that the folks over at uh, Mattel would do a little bit better stands than this and a piece of cardboard that you plug into it. They're getting away from the, the, um, the entrance great stands, which were really nice. And they're, they're kind of going to this, and I've even heard stories that they're completely eliminating this as well. Uh, if that's the case, I'm going to be extremely disappointed. But nonetheless, a very nice stand with the WWE slash WWF logo kind of right there in the center. And then, I, I mean, the cardboard is, it's, it's nice. It uh, replicates kind of a little plaque type of a thing. I, I just, that, to me, that's just really cheap. And these figures aren't really all that cheap. No one can deny just how fantastic this figure looks. From his time in the WWF where he was a tag team champion, where he was intercontinental champion, or as the heavyweight champion himself, Macho Man is one of the best and one of the biggest icons in the entire wrestling industry. When he got to that top rope, extended his arms up into the air and leapt from the top rope all the way down onto his opponent, you just knew that this guy was gonna win. Regardless of uh, what, what you think about when he would turn to, you know, the heel side of things, he's always entertaining. And the man knows seriously how to cut a promo. Most recently for the, uh, I think it's um, the WWF Legends video game, he cut a promo for it, which, I mean, obviously he's older. He's, he's in his uh, late 50s now. But this man, wow. I'm not going to get the game. I, well, I, I might get the game. I don't know. The way he hypes things up, unbelievable. Easily one of the best speakers in WWF history. And as I said, even to this day, this man knows how to cut a promo. Instantly getting this guy excited for something that I wasn't even initially even considering buying. 
Now, the figure itself, obviously, really cool look. Absolutely gorgeous, iconic, <laughs> iconic cowboy hat. Beautiful jacket. Um, oftentimes, you would see him with the uh, little dangly things coming down here. And, I mean, that's just, it's Macho Man. It's absolutely Macho Man in all of his glory. Now, the cool thing is the hat removes. You can set that off to the side. Even his glasses slide out. The, uh, they kind of like slide in and peg, and that's just a really nice likeness. I really think that captures a very nice look for Randy Savage himself. I think that's a fantastic look on him. Just really, like I said, absolutely captures it. Uh, you can come around here to the jacket. It's got a little Velcro thing on here. And if I do this half-assed decently, I always have a hard time. <laughs> Which really sounds disturbing. I have a very hard time sometimes taking the clothes off of these guys. Yeah, I, I know that that sounds a whole lot worse than it really should be. And uh, I apologize for that. But uh, here you have Macho Man basically in his uh, wrestling attire. Taking off the jacket, taking off the sunglasses, taking off the hat. And uh, these Defining Moments characters are not too terribly bad. My biggest complaint, I'm not a big fan of the ab crunch uh it just really kind of breaks up the look for me but the added articulation i know really makes a lot of people happy uh his head is on this like little ball joint type of thing so you get a good range of motion there you got some uh pin and pin and socket joints here at the shoulder rotates at the upper part of the bicep bends also at the elbow and uh, he's got full range of motion in his hands uh well at least his wrists like I said, he does have this upper ab crunch. He rotates. Um, these joints down here, they're kind of ball joints. Um, I don't particularly like them. They always feel like they're going to break to me. Um, right up here in the hip area, uh, I'm not a really big fan of those joints. But uh, so far, nothing's broken. So, man, whatever. Uh, he's got two joints at the knee. Very nice. Uh, he's got a pivot back and forth at the ankle. And, um... I think, it, yeah, he rotates here at the upper part of the boot, and he uh, has a little bit of pivot here so you can get a wider stance. But, th like I said, this is a fantastic, fantastic representation of the Macho Man. The look, the feel, the articulation, everything on this figure is an absolute pure win. Now, none of my wrestling figures do I display uh, like this. I love seeing them in their ring attire. And while this belt doesn't come with this actual figure, uh, I actually went out and I bought that separately. This is how I love looking at my Macho Man figure. Just an absolutely wonderful representation of him as a champion. Easily one of the very best champions in all of WWF history. As I said, this man is a legend, he's an icon, and without a shadow of a doubt, one of my personal favorites of all time. So if you see this figure and if you're a wrestling fan, I highly recommend picking him up. So until next time, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optobotomous. I'll talk to you later.